Hello, medcom.id. I'm Andy. And I'm James, and we are Hong. Uh, yeah, I think we have an intimate relationship with our fan in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't sound quite right. No, we do have a close relationship with our fans, definitely. And yeah. we really feel, particularly like, since we've been away for a little while, we really feel like the love on Instagram um, and yeah, Twitter and stuff, when people are messaging us, we often message them back and say hello. Um, yeah, we definitely feel like people are excited to see us and we're always excited to come back. Yeah. We have great memories of all the festivals that we've played. Mm. Uh, I can remember every one vividly. Mm. And yeah, I mean, we, we obviously, we get to see a bit of music as well. In fact, actually, one of the first memories was We The Fest. And we met a couple of the other musicians um, from, who were playing on either our stage or other stages and we could hear you know, them playing and it sounded really, really good. I can't remember who Yeah, they were, but... But then of course, on our latest album, we featured Nikki on a song called Coming Home, um, who's a massive Indonesian talent. It's true. Um, yeah, and Rich Brian, like, there's loads of artists that we think are really great. And yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be more in future. Yeah. Good, thank you. Yeah, I think there's been a huge progress. If you, I think if you were to listen to the two side by side, like, it could almost be a different band. Mm. Um, but, yeah, we just want to, I think, you know, we've learned a lot over the years. We've got better. Um, maybe some people think we've got worse. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we're just we're trying to progress, and with every album, we want to tweak our sound. Um, just so we're, you know, putting out new, like, different music from what's come before, and to keep it fresh and yeah, not boring for us. Yeah, no, I agree. Everything he said is spot on. <laughs> um, I feel like our first album was more minimalistic, I would say. Yeah. Um, and our latest one is more kind of bright and poppy, I'd say. So there's, I feel like there's quite a big difference between, although some, some songs kind of maybe are uh, reminiscent of it, I'm not sure, yeah. It's hard to say, really. Yeah. What a wonderful world. Yes. Yeah, okay, so the story behind that is, um, obviously, we were approached uh, by Genesis, the car company, uh, and they wanted to have us have the music for their new advert and they loved Han but they also loved What a Wonderful World, the Louis Armstrong song and we love that song as well and we agreed to do it so we put our own spin on his song um, and yeah that's how it all came about it was just it was for the advert <coughs> my voice is going <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah we, we love how it turned out and the advert had a bit more of a remix kind of feel to it in that it started off quite classic and you know strings and stuff and then goes into more of an upbeat piece of music that fitted the advert mm. but for all the DSPs we released a version of What a Wonderful World that's a bit more yeah just because we loved it yeah So I think that collaboration was one of the most organic we've ever had <clears throat> and like fluky, it was like down to chance really that it yeah. happened. So we'd been messaging her on Instagram for ages and she'd never replied, <laughs> she'd never seen our messages. I think she probably gets like thousands of messages a day. Um, and we were in a studio in LA just before the pandemic started and we were in a session with a producer or musician called Dame Funk 
who did lots of Snoop Dogg stuff mm. back in the day. Um, and he came back in and was to our room and was like, oh, I just bumped into this producer called Palmer and Nikki's next door. And we were like, oh, Nikki's next door, Nikki's next door. <laughs> um, and unbeknown to us, Pomo went in to his session and said to Nikki, on the next door, and she was like, oh, I need to speak to Aunt. So, so they came into our room and we just had a chat and played them what we were working on. Um, and then we went into their studio and like had our dinner in there and we were all sharing demos that we'd been working on. And we played uh, Coming Home, which we started writing a few days ago. Mm. And we were like, if you want to sing on it, we would love that. And she was like, yeah, let's go for it. So a couple of days later, she came in and yeah, it all came together. Uh, we missed the food. Uh, I think we missed, we had one of the best nights of our lives in Indonesia, going around on Vespers after our show. Yeah, so we missed, we missed that. that. Yeah. And definitely our fans as well, like we just missed. Playing shows here are some of our favourite in the world. So yeah, we definitely miss those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, yeah, we can do a bit of spicy food. I don't like it if it, it's too spicy if it makes you cry. Oh. That's too much for me. But you can eat or no, right? Pardon? Rondo. Rondo, yeah, you oh, make yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He makes it at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, thank you, Han. Thank, thank you very, you very much. much. You can say to your friends at home. To our fans. We love you. We love you. Medcon.id. You're the best. <laughs>